so many of you are holding back on doing things or expressing ideas or art or parts of yourself that you're afraid to show because you're afraid of judgment that other people will have. And the funny thing about when you don't show that stuff, it becomes almost like amplified within you and you, you pay attention to the way others are showing the, you know, the similar expression or ideas as you are. And you, you are highly critical of those ideas because of how amplified it is within you that you're not doing it. So when you tend to look towards others and judge them harshly for like the kind of art they make or the sort of ideas that they're spouting or the kind of business they're building or you know any of that choices that they're making in their life it it just becomes so much bigger for you because you are in fact spending all this energy kind of holding it back within yourself so when you fear the judgment of others you're unless you until the point where you do the thing all of your judgment is self-judgment. All of the judgment that you are fearing other people will have about you is your own judgment about yourself. Until you actually do the thing, put it out in the world, allow others to see it, and actually judge it, it is only you who are judging it. So I want you to really take that in, which is that 100%, 100% of the judgments that you are fearing that will happen to you when you do the thing that you really want to do is your own judgment about the thing and about yourself. So the good news is that just realizing that will hopefully help you to start changing that changing the reality, which is that most of the judgments you have about yourself are much harsher than what most people will have about you. Now, what if you actually do the thing and then you get actual judgment, actual judgment from actual people who say, this is good, this is bad, this is, you know, awesome, this is shit, right? What happens then? Well, I want you to remember this, which is that judgers, like the ones who actively try to tear others down, they suffer. Judgers suffer. And they deserve our compassion, not our compliance. Judgers you know, they suffer in the most insidious of ways because in the moment that they're judging, it feels great. It feels like they're superior or stronger or smarter or somehow more refined than the other, than the person they're judging. And they can walk away from that experience feeling good about themselves, right? But it's not until later in those moments where it's their turn to step up, to step forth, to put forth their ideas, to voice their expression, to reveal their true self, that's where they suffer because they can't do it. Because the voice of their judger is so loud that it would almost be hypocritical of them to do it, right? In their world, if it's so... You know, if their judgment is so real to the point where they're actually speaking it out, expressing it to the world, to other people, it's become to a point already within themselves that it's so real that it would almost feel hypocritical of themselves to put forth ideas or expression that they themselves judge. That is suffering right there. And so they deserve our compassion, not our compliance. So, to review, until you've actually done the thing that you're afraid to do, 100% of the judgments that you fear are your own. So take a look at what those are and see if you can find ways to give yourself some 
love and acceptance, unconditional acceptance, work on those beliefs within yourself so that you can get enough courage and you only need just enough courage and just the right moment to put forth that thing. And then once you do put forth that thing and you actually get real judgment, give those judges compassion. Give them compassion, but don't comply. They don't deserve your compliance. Okay. And the magical thing about giving compassion to our judges is that it heals our own inner judgment. It helps us heal. So the, you know, you might even think about the, the real purpose behind expression is to help heal our inner judgment and to help us become whole, not just because we're being seen, but because we now have the capacity to have compassion for our own inner judgment. So my name is Eddie, and I help overachievers who feel burned out, discover the life they love, make changes in their life to live a life of meaning and fulfillment. And I know so many overachievers who have done the thing they're expected to do, live their whole lives for other people, and now they're getting burned out, they're unhappy, and they're thinking about making a change into something else, but they're afraid. They're afraid to make that change because of all the judgment that they're going to get from their family, their peers, their colleagues. You know, what are the people going to think? Like, you know, or how, if they've never shown the side of themselves, like how will people react, right? So they're, they're held back by all of this fear. So if that sounds like you, feel free to reach out to me. I love for having conversations with people who are struggling with this, grappling with these issues. And if this video was helpful, check out my other videos or my other articles and content. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be well.